Hello and good evening and welcome to the Long Road Open Evening for Art Foundation, the Level 4 Art Foundation. So I've got half an hour of showing you uh, a range of slides that explain the course, a little bit about the course and the content. So my name is Gareth Roberts. I'm the course team leader here at Long Road. Um, so the first question is, uh, when do I do an Art Foundation course? So the Art Foundation course is normally taken after a level three or a level provision initially. So you typically start Art Foundation when you're 18, 18 plus. So what is the Foundation Diploma in Art and Design? We follow the UAL, University of the Arts, London spec. It's a level four foundation qualification throughout and it's a standalone qualification that's a year long and develops your creative practice within the creative industry and a bespoke portfolio. So the Foundation Diploma is an art and design year long full time course, which enables learners to develop skills visually and recording research skills and also a range of art and design practice. Media experimentation is encouraged throughout the year and a whole range of disciplines and dis um, you workshops are utilised throughout the year. It's also the last year of free education you'll get from the government. So it's kind of why wouldn't you want to do the foundation course? The course is diagnostic um, is diagnostic throughout all stages of it. It's broken down into three different units. So the first unit is unit one. Uh, unit, then we jump to unit three and unit four. The first unit is an exploratory unit and you'll try a range of different pathways and processes throughout. Uh, the second unit, unit three, that you practice is more about building up a specialist portfolio and developing your practice within that range. The last, last provision and unit is uh, unit four and that is your FMP final major project that stands for and that's very much where you take ownership of your own qualification and you write your own brief. Okay, So why study at Long Road if you're not already at Long Road? So we have a, a kind of a balance between internal students and a whole range of different students as well that also do the course. So we might have students that come from places such as um, Hills Road or uh, Comberton. Um, as far as a field as Welling Garden City, we've had students come uh, from. Also Norwich um, to kind of access our brilliant teaching and facilities here. Um, so Ofsted, we recently had Ofsted in last year and we came out with a really good, a good standard grade, which was fantastic. Uh, the facilities are excellent here. I'll touch base slightly on that provision again later. There's a friendly environment. I don't know if you've ever been to Long Road. Lots of greenery around, a nice field. The students love the, the vibrancy of the area and the green spaces. Um, there's taught by, we are taught, well, the course is taught by industry professionals and it is a level four, which is unlike some of the uh, competitors in the surrounding areas. OK, so what are the entry requirements for the Level 4 Art Foundation? So we expect you to have a creative A-level or Level 3 qualification. So the creative A-level that we'd expect, so this could be anything like design technology, photography or fine art, obviously textile provision as usual. And we expect you to get a grade of D, at least D. That might seem slightly low to you, um, but the reason why we have it set at that bar is because we we actually uh, teach foundation and develop your work in a different response to perhaps an A-level provision. So it's less formalised and less structured. It's more about you. So what you might find is a student that struggles to kind of fulfil criteria at A-level um, provision um, would kind of excel at uh, in creative practice at uh, Long Road on level four. Um, so that's the A-level provision. We also ask uh, an entry of if perhaps you've done the level three uh, diploma in art or graphics, 
we ask a minimum grade of merit. OK, into, in addition to that, much like it says on the slide, you need five GCSE subjects at grade C or above, including art and your core subjects, um, English mainly. A portfolio of work needs to be submitted. OK, in response, so what, what will happen is you, uh, there's an online portal that you can apply to the course um, on and then we will call you for interview and you need to show a little bit of work at the interview and it's very much a sort of two way discussion in terms of um, making sure the course is right for you and that you've got the skill base to help develop your creative practice. OK, so how is the course assessed? OK, so you, you hear me talking earlier or heard me talking earlier about three different units. So this is the breakdown, really. Unit one, unit three and unit four. OK, so unit one is just pass or referral at this stage. OK, uh, unit three is much the same, pass or referral. So you've got um, you've got those two first units that take you right up to just after Christmas. That helps you do your progressionary unit within unit three and supports creative practice. Um, also, a lot of the students, current students on the course at the moment are planning things such as travel potentially on the uh, after the course, so after May. So we run from uh, September to May and that gives uh, learners a bit of time or students a bit of time to kind of go on to, to actually develop um, a unique uh, range of skills by um, attaching themselves to an industry apprenticeship potentially or uh, getting work experience and, and kind of setting yourself up for the next next level. OK, so when all that's done and you cast and you've had the support from us uh, through um, through the unit three, UCAS is finished. Unit four will be very much your ownership. So you'll be taking you'll be taking ownership of that and writing your own project st uh, structure and brief. And everything we do up to that point is setting you up for this unit. Um, so this is very much where you specialise um, or continue your specialist practice through from unit three. And you tell us what, what you want to deliver as your final um, outcome to the course. This is then in turn marked and it's marked past merit or distinction at this stage. OK, so UAL, um, it's worth mentioning here that we are actually attached to the UAL, UAL qualification, University of the Arts London, which is the biggest creative um, network of universities, creative um, uh, colleges in the world, actually. And it also gives us lots of things that are supportive to students that go throughout through our um, course here. It gives you an automatic interview um, to some of the leading courses in the country, which is fantastic. Um, so lots and lots of supportive mechanisms and opens your eyes to lots of creative practices and so forth. Um, it helps develop art and design skills and um, students are, um, it's internationally recognised throughout. OK, so why the creative industry? Well, there's lots of reasons the creative industry, but I just pulled off some uh, statistics here that um, might be of interest. So it's an ever growing industry. At the moment, you might not have had a chance to even think about um, areas of specialisms and expertise. So um, we will help you and support you with that range of kind of thinking and think about progression and maybe roles later in life. So an ever growing industry, exciting industry, uh, 28 billion per year in the UK as a drive to the economy. Um, lots and lots of provisions and lots and lots of creative options. OK, so this is just a range of jobs that you might be thinking of, but there are tons more, lots more. And certainly we will be discussing that if you're if you do do the course, which would be fantastic. Um, so you might be doing anything from um, uh, using animation or perhaps becoming a printmaker or doing something jewellery based. I've had students over the years that have gone on to do anything from um, art and design based uh, to something that is garden design, um, makeup design. Um, so you name it, um, we can kind of uh, work that with your final unit as you work um, 
as you set out your FMP unit four. OK, opportunities here at Long Road, we're all about opportunities. Um, so we like to get you in touch with creative practitioners. And um, this is a visual with some of the previous students um, from the creative director of an illustrative agency called The Artworks. So it's Alex Hadlow here and she's formed a really good link with us in the college. So she has offered in the past students internships by coming in and judging a little competition. So you can see some of the previous students there. Um, they've they've been printing some of their um, illustrative um, summaries to their briefs set. And Alex has come in to give a talk, talk about the industry and um, judge that competition. And therefore those three students there um, went and to their London office actually and had a had a great few days doing internships and formed a link and very much so that's a link that they can keep for the rest of their creative journey. Okay, again, we've got people that come into college to give live briefs and, and uh, talk about their work, their practicing, their provision. Um, so we've got uh, uh, an artist here, a museum born artist here that's come in to talk about art in public spaces. So really, really good um, resource. And actually some of her, um, she offered some support to the students using um, tutorial based um, feedback and help students develop over their final major project. Again, we've got um, studio visits. We like to go on visits and things throughout um, uh, foundation. So Aidan Abet, this is a Cambridge based artist practice and um, they do a whole range of different um, art. Uh, you can see some down by the um, by the Cambridge station actually, some of the art uh, dotted around and they very much were supportive and, and interested in students and, what, and them developing and learning what it is to be a creative practitioner in a fine art realms of the public eye. Okay, university progression. We support you as I've touched on before with university. You get a bespoke experience here with a bespoke personal statement written regarding your specialist practice and also a reference from us. Um, we take you down to London to there's a um, progression event there. You can see literally thousands of uh, universities um, courses there for professional provision and we support you with your your work and discussions and ongoing application processes. Trips, so the level four Art Foundation students go on a variety of trips. Um, it's been a slight turbulent at the start this year, but the students have been on the trip. Um, so this is, um, this is a visual of some of the students going down to London. Uh, Brick Lane, there's a gallery called Whitechapel Gallery, um, which might not be um, on your normal uh, list of things to see, but that's kind of what Foundation is about, opening your eyes to different possibilities, new experiences and new visual places to glean information from. Um, so the trips range from anything from we've been to Barcelona in the past as well, and we uh, go to an on an annual trip to New York as well, which we'll be very much looking forward to, to doing next year uh, when you're hopefully joining us. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. OK, so these are just some visuals from a trip in Barcelona, some of the students. And again, some more visuals from around London and some other trips, so iconic uh, buildings and things in the background. And you can see the students are just um, getting lots and lots of um, things from these trips that they can filter back into their work. Again, the Tate Modern, that's quite iconic and people know um, the Turbine Hall. And once again, this is, um, I touched base on the, the New York trip, uh, very much um, a very highly regarded trip by the students that go on there and um, an excellent provision to coll uh, collect and collect uh, research just before your final major project, that final unit. Um, so sets you up nicely. And here are some of the students that have been in the past. So you can see some of the visuals, fantastic. 
Um, unfortunately, I can't show you this link, but I can only give you the link. So I'd suggest that you take a photo of this to access this later. This is an interpretation of uh, the New York trip that happened last year. And one of the students that went was a film student. And this is this is what they came back with. It very much depicts the trip. And I don't think there's um, a face that's not smiling in that group of people. Um, so it's a good, good way to kind of fit, um, watch it and see what you could be part of uh, for the next forthcoming year. Again, about we, we spoke about opportunities and art in public spaces. We have uh, an agreement with, um, we work closely with um, the professional environment of Grand Arcade. And this is some of the work that has been in there from one of the years of students. Um, and we'll be refreshing that each year for, for you to kind of work uh, with Grand Arcade on professional briefs. Great for your CV, great for your personal statement and also to talk about for interview for wherever you go. These are some of the studio spaces, the visuals that we've got on the screen. So you can just see this, the studios are bright, airy, really well kitted out. You have all the provision here that you might need. Um, and we support you really, really well. A lot of foundations uh, around the UK do not even give you any resources. So at Long Road, students are absolutely spoilt with what they get and the provision that they get. So you can see Mac rooms there, screen printing facilities, um, and you can see how engaged those students are. Okay, end of year exhibition. This is something that is pride of place really in the uh, creative department here and also as part of the college. The college is incredibly supportive of FAD and we have a, a professional end of year show that's not just like in a college uh, environment. We actually go out to do this, this show, which is unlike a lot of our, um, our other uh, competitors around. You don't get that level of professionalism. So in the past, it's been in places such as the Round Church, the Fitzwilliam Museum, we had it booked at Kettle's Yard last year, but um, unfortunately, due to for unforeseen for, uh, circumstances, obviously we had to do a remote virtual exhibition, but we've got that in the pipeline to develop later. Okay. So this is the link to the virtual exhibition. Please feel free to take a photo if you want to, so you can have a little look at that. It's actually, if you use it on a smartphone, you can download a little app. It takes two minutes, it's free to use and it's like you're in the room so you can swing it around and it's like each student's work is in 360. So please do look at that. They worked hard and did a fantastic job, much, much to the extent that a lot of universities didn't even have such a professional end of year show. And once again, this is some of the visuals for the show in 2019 at the Fitzwilliam Museum. So you can see really professional, we work really hard to make sure everything looks less like a student show and um, more, um, more as a professional environment for you. Again, the Round Church 2018, some of the students on FAD, and you can see once again, a really beautifully put together show that you're well supported with technicians and the staff on FAD. And again, a range of work. So you might be interested in fashion textiles like the student was, maybe something cinematic, film, illustrative qualities, fashion, again some illustration, visual communication. And these are some of the slides of the works, just to give you an idea of the range of the, the work and how students work and the different quality of work um, on the level four some visuals, some, some let, uh, logs or sketchbooks. Illustration. Printing, we do a lot of printing here. Fine art painting. Okay, so at this stage, uh, it might be worth mentioning there is gonna be another series of open evenings in June, 2021. So please feel free to access that again, should you be wanting to, or wanting to glean some more questions or either get in touch with me. My email's at the end of this uh, presentation. So 
applications are also open for FAD now, and I can see they're already coming in. So we do, at the moment, the last couple of years, we have been capping the numbers. So I very much encourage you to apply sooner rather than later. So um, you need to go on the online portal. So you can access that through the Long Road website. Look for the Level 4 Art Foundation, and then there's a little tab that says Apply Now. Click onto that and then follow the instructions. Any problems, feel free to email me. Just some, some links that you can utilise. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it on that page and I believe I've got a couple of people that are answering questions while so I'm going to sign out and thank you for coming to watch uh, my presentation and I hope you gleaned some, some information and found it useful but please do get in touch should you require anything else answered. Take care.